After installing the program, the TaxLayer Pro icon will be displayed on your desktop. Double-click the icon to begin the configuration. An information box will appear telling you that on the next few screens you will be asked to enter information pertaining to your firm, your employees, and your computer system. A question will appear asking if you want to restore the configuration from a backup disk. If this is the first time installing the program, choose No. A question will appear asking if you'll be using a network. For this tutorial, we'll select No. A second question will appear asking if this computer will be the computer in your office that communicates with TaxLayer Pro. We'll select Yes. Click OK on the information box advising you to fill in all information pertaining to your company. If you used TaxLayer Pro last year, your configuration will automatically pull forward. If this is your first year with TaxLayer Pro, you will be asked to enter your company information. Once you've entered your firm information, click OK to proceed. The next screen is the Preparer Setup menu. To input a new preparer, select New. Enter a preparer code number. This number can be from 1 to 999 and is used to tell which preparer in your office prepared a particular tax return. This code number is also used by the TaxLayer program to pull your firm's information, which is printed on the bottom of the Form 1040. Next, enter the preparer's Social Security number PTIN. Type in the preparer's first name, middle initial, and last name. If the preparer is self-employed, check the box at the bottom of the menu. When you're finished, click OK. You're now at the preparer edit menu. Here, you can enter the preparer's email address, hourly rate, and set up preparer security options. After exiting the preparer edit menu, you'll have the opportunity to enter additional preparers if necessary. Select New to enter additional preparers or select Exit to move to the next step in the configuration. If you'll be offering bank products, select your bank from the list and click OK. For purposes of this tutorial, we'll select TaxLayer Financial Services. Be sure to read and understand the information printed on the screen regarding any bank that you might select. The next section in configuration is the fee menu. Every form available in TaxLayer Pro is listed on this page. You can set a fee for each form individually, or you can set a fee for a range of forms. To set a fee for one form, select the name of the form, such as the 1040, and enter your fee. You can scroll down for a list of more forms, or filter the forms by type, such as federal, state, and business forms. Select Continue to exit the fee menu. The next screen that appears is the Path menu. The correct paths have already been established by the program. You shouldn't have to change any of these options in this menu. However, if you wish to have your returns automatically back up to a secondary backup path, such as a USB drive or external hard drive, enter the specified drive letter into option 4 secondary backup path. Keep in mind though that if you do enter a secondary backup path in the program's configuration, 
that you'll need to keep the USB drive or the external hard drive connected to your computer while you're using the TaxSlayer program, or you'll receive an error message while preparing returns. The next screen is the Macro Input menu. TaxSlayer Pro allows macros to be entered into the program in order to save time when inputting a taxpayer's information. Click Yes to enter macros. Examples of macros are the most common employers, child care providers, K-1 entities, interest and dividend payers, charitable organizations, and banks. You'll now be at the Update Manager screen. With the Update Manager, you can select which updates you wish to receive automatically when you open the program for the first time each day. You can select a maximum of three states to be automatically updated each day. Keep in mind, though, that you can update any state at any time manually from within the program. This screen is for automatic updates only. You'll now be asked if you purchased the TaxLayer Pro Premium Bundle. Answering yes will allow you to set up your premium options from within the program. You'll first be asked to enter your premium activation code. Next, enter your email address. and your email method. We suggest using indirect through TaxLayer Pro as your email method. You'll now be at the premium configuration menu where you can make any necessary changes to your premium options. Once you've made these selections, exit the premium menu. An information box will appear advising you that TaxLayer Pro will now close so that the configuration changes can take place and your program can be updated with your personal configuration settings. Also at this time, take a moment to make certain your computer's system date is correct. Click the OK button. If you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7, you'll need to read the instructions on the screen carefully in order to run TaxLayer Pro as an administrator on your personal computer. If you're not running the program as an administrator, your program updates will not install properly. Click the OK button and you'll exit to your Windows desktop. To begin using the TaxLayer Pro program, double-click the TaxLayer Pro icon on your desktop. Your update manager will automatically download and install any necessary updates. You'll now be taken to the main menu of TaxLayer Pro. If you need to change or add any information previously entered. Select Configuration from the main menu and then select the appropriate submenu. Thank you for watching the video tutorial Configuration.